America's Pacific Northwest here in Seattle, where off in the distant Mount Rainier is looking to watch the Kraken go. Opening face-off is just seconds away. The Bruins start things off on the right note by winning the opening draw. Quick feed for Kiki. Gives them nothing in front. Reaction time is so critical for goaltenders because the way the players shoot in this game today, man, it is so tough to stop. So this one, instincts. Glove goes up, makes the save. Lots of time left in this period. The game is still scoreless. There he is from the slot. Oh, a clutch save. Takes it across the blue line. Here we go, off and rush here. And he turned that aside as we continue play here. Can't hang on to the puck after taking a knock. Boston's got it in their own zone. Nice speed from the left side up the middle. And the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. Denied that one. Moves it to Beneers. The Bruins have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Sends a pass over. Taken by Larson. Seattle's got a hold of the puck. Here's a chance! He scores! I love this snapshot from in tight. James that beats the goaltender. But how about the will to get to those tough areas? I mean, that's what it's all about. You can have the skill, but you've got to have the will. The Kraken have to be breathing a little easier now as they get on the board first here in this one. That's amazing how mindset can change when you get up by a goal in what's been considered a pretty scrappy back and forth game. The Bruins win possession here in the open ice. Boston's on the attack. Broken up by Tanner. There's a collision with some authority. Off the left wing and into center. Oh, had a chance to make a nice move, and the puck disagreed with him. Marshawn's trying to get a little too fancy with the puck there, and as a result, he loses it. Oh, we have the answer on that one. Still lots of time left in the period. Seattle's up one zip. Puck is dropped, he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Lindholm's taking it from his own end. Handles the pass from the right wing. And the defenders come up with the puck. And he takes the feed. Oh, and a smart heads up play. Seattle's got the puck along the boards. From the left side, they enter the attacking zone. Boston's got the puck. Slides it over with pace to Frederick. Here's a shot, and he turned that one aside. And now it's grabbed by Tolvanen. Feeds the puck to Gorn. Make a change, make a change. Centering pass. Oh, and they can't connect on the pass because it was broken up in front. Oh, some strong physicality on the play. Moves it quickly over to Borgen. Puck scooped up by Carlo. Morgan stick breaks and he's loads it back to the bench and gets a new one. Wow, he gets back in the play quickly. We got a penalty coming up here on the play. There's the whistle and here's the call. A tough penalty to take as you're looking for the equalizer. You're in a one goal deficit and you got to find a way to generate offense, James. Real tough one to take. opportunity on their first power play of the game, James. And this is an opportunity to look at the coverage as well, see how they're playing it, whether they're going to be aggressive or sit back. Ref blows the whistle as the puck's covered up. Saka's ready for the draw as they continue to be shorthanded here. Off the face, off, they take the puck. Seattle's got possession here in the offensive zone. An attempt to clear the puck from deep inside his own end. Slides it diagonally to Beneers. 
poked away and forces the turnover at center. Boston's penalty killers get a hold of it. And he loses both the puck and his balance after that hit. The Bruins scoop it up along the boards. Steps into the offensive end. And it's a quick pass to Grizzly. That's gloved by Decord. There's the whistle. We'll get a face-off after the goalie covers up. Pasternak's really able to pick his spot when the puck is flat and ready to be fired. Guys, that's what we like to call his snipe zone ability. Dunn's a steady defender who's known to join the rush. Those are two big names I'll be keeping tabs on all throughout this matchup. Now, sending it back upstairs. Chase in front! The shot! Trying to clear the puck from his own end. And as both teams are now back at even strength, the power play goes over on the opportunity. Well, that power play wasn't very good, James. It's really slow and methodical and easy read for the PK unit. You gotta fight to find something in the middle ice and get some shots on that. Here in the late goings of the period, Seattle's ahead, 1-0. Offense is on face off and he wins the draw. Steps in front of that one. Denies him with the save. Face off coming up as the puck goes up and over the glass. Both teams gliding into position and the official set to drop the puck. Nice job tying up his opponent. The Bruins have it now. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Frederick. Fires it on net. Oh, how did he put that wide? I don't know, James, because he's in the slot and he needs to find a way to at least put this on net. It's a golden chance that's really disappointing. Period number two set to go here. Officials moments away from dropping the puck. The second stanza is underway as the puck is dropped. Let's go. Well, Cheryl, how do you sum this one up through the first 20 minutes? The Bruins are fortunate that this game is close, James. I mean, they've had way too many turnovers and terrible blue line decisions. They need to shore that up if they want to get back in this game. Scores! They tied it up, and we are back to even. Well, working hard, sticking to the game plan with good habits, and they're back to evens. On a deflected shot, everyone always talks about the stick positioning. How about the timing to get to the slot area as well? and the ability to just tap it down and redirect it. The Bruins have evened things up here in period number two. We got ourselves a new game. Yeah, you love these games that go back and forth, and they've worked hard to get to this point, and now they got the equalizer. Giddy up. Veneers wins it. Puck picked up by Larson. Quick pass to Veneers. Takes the shot. Keep it out! What a blocker stop by Olmark. The Bruins played along the wing. Here's a short pass to Pasternak. Wicked stop by the goaltender. Denies him again! I'm not sure where the defense is, but I'll tell you what, the goaltender has been outstanding, made a flurry of saves to keep his team in this one. Lots of time left in this period. We are all tied up in this one. And they take possession after the defensive zone faceoff. Seattle's in now. Quick feed to Krizlik. From along the boards, moves the puck ahead. Seattle's got it in their own zone. Here they come. Looks to get the puck over to Tanev. Cuts into the paint. Tried to get 2Q with it and loses possession. It almost looked as if he was going to get by the defender, but that extra move took his face away, and it goes the other way. Strong use of the body to force the puck loose. And he slides it quickly to Tanev. He carries the puck up along the wing. And he takes the pass. Takes possession. Scores! And we take a try to Clutch City as they take the lead. Well, the lead is in their hands, and now management, dictating pace, controlling the offensive zone. Everything now is on the line. 
I hear coaches preaching all the time, take away the eyes of the goaltender. What does that mean? It means you get yourself in front of that net, whether it's a double stack, a double screen, whatever you can do so that the goaltender can't find the puck. And he couldn't as he drops to that butterfly. He tries to make himself as big as possible, but he can't catch up to the puck. That knocks him off the puck. Moves around along the half wall. And that's a great hits up play by Alexiak. Boston's moving it into the offensive end. Carlos going to play it to the corner. Moves it to Heinen. Oh, just goes off his club and it stays out. Oh, and another beauty stop right there. Well, he's been under siege and I'm loving his compete level. I mean, he's making consecutive saves one after another. Shot! And makes the routine save. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. Well past the midway mark of this period, Seattle's been the better looking team over the last few minutes. They'd love to build on this one goal lead. Boston's got possession here in their own end. Moves it quickly over to Veneers. Picked up along the wall by Kiki. The Bruins will play it in their own end. And now he angles it across to Kiki. Drills him. Glove save made by the cord. Boston's had a lot of good looks offensively, but they have run into one hot goaltender, which is why they trail late in this second. Ron, he ties up his opponent. Here's a shot. Oh, and he steps into the line of fire and blocks that. Puck grab by Tatar. Through the neutral zone up along the wing. And that's knocked away by Shattenkirk. Moves it to the middle. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Allmark's last save was so impressive, James. Really a last-ditch effort to find the puck. When you have battled and you have opponent everyone around you gets energized just look at the bench everyone is elevated because of that save broken up in the neutral zone by Pasternak misses wide of the net and now he moves it quickly to Steen oh what a save by Decor and some good footwork to kick it away Well, there you go, 40 minutes in the books. All right, friends, go grab yourself some water, get hydrated, and then buckle up because we got an exciting third period coming up in moments. Now's your chance to play clean. Draw your plastic cups, bottles, and clean paper products from your shopping And we are just moments away from the start of the third period. And the puck is dropped, and we are underway here in the third. Well, two periods down. Here we go with the third period. Cheryl, your assessment so far. Boston's had a strong 40 minutes of play, and they dominated possession time, James, but they have to find a way to get up on the board and get the equalizer here. I expect them to have some urgency to activate their D and try and really look to attack off the rush. The Bruins gain possession in their own end, and he slides it quickly to Saka. Taken by Dunn. Quick pass to Everly. Oh, textbook poke check to turn that over. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. And loses possession after a solid hit. And he takes a shot. Oh, wide of the net. Players work too hard to have the puck on their stick and to get to scoring areas to not hit the net. Even if they don't score, they'll get a rebound if they at least hit the tender. Here's a shot. There's another stop. Just fantastic work by the goaltender, making consecutive saves. How athletic. Here's a shot. Denies him with the pad. Tries to feed it over to Veneers. Seattle's ahead in this game because of their second line. I've been really impressed with their performance tonight, James. When you look at the trio, you have to look at the physical engagement, the way they're distributing the puck, and hey, the finish that goes hand in hand with it. Here's a short pass to Coyle. Moves the puck across to DeBrusque. Eagle eyes by the referees. Delayed penalty coming up here. Looks like they caught the slash. Well, the penalty killers are going to have to beat a task on this one, protecting that one goal lead.
Well, as both teams dig in for the face-off here just moments away, it's our first opportunity to look at the power play unit here. Seattle's won the face-off deep in their own end. A power play then can even the score here, James. It is massively important that they create some kind of momentum in their favor on this one. The court's gonna opt for the whistle. I don't mind this call here in the third. Neither do I. Listen, he has been so dialed in all night, James. He has been excellent, arguably their best player. And he's trying to preserve the lead here by holding on to this one to get the face off. And now it's grabbed by Lindholm. Pull into the net. Sometimes when you have the puck on your stick in a primetime scoring area, it's not about threading the needle. And when you try and thread it, sometimes you miss. And that's what happened there. It's a low-scoring affair out there, and not for the lack of entertainment and high-quality chances. To... Oh, what a save! And rings the iron! Such an impressive save, James, and I love to look at these ones again because it's not just being in great position, it's being desperate. It's finding a way to get to the puck, keeping your eye on it at all times, tracking it, out-battling and out-willing everyone around you. Kiki's ready for the draw on this man advantage. The Bruins will go to work here in the offensive zone. Seattle's got the puck shorthanded. They clear the zone. Taken along the wall by Marchand. Quick feed to Tanev. Trying to get the puck out of his own end. Just a little too much. Two on one, here we go! And instead of forcing the issue, they dump it in. The Bruins run out of time on the man advantage. Both sides back to even strength. Specialty teams are critical, especially when you're down by a goal and you have an opportunity to get the equalizer. And they just... Oh, well, there's going to be a call on that one, James. There's the whistle. Let's get the call from the officials. Well, that's certainly not going to help the team. I mean, they're losing by one. they got to find a way to get some momentum to get on the board. Now they find themselves killing the penalty. Chance here on the man advantage. They haven't scored on their power play yet. They've earned this opportunity. They'll get another look at it, look for different adjustments to be made. Coyle's quick stick off the draw wins possession. Here we go. Pucks in deep. Moves it to Dunn. Now a quick pass to Everly. Seattle's on the attack. Went for the dirty dangle and it goes sideways. Everly's close to finding a hole there, and just an extra move. Thought he had a little more time and space than he actually had, and the play dies. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Grabbed along the boards by Burakovsky. Shot it up! Denies him! Moves it quickly over to Burakovsky. Moves inside! The Bruins have possession shorthanded. All sorts of pressure, trying to get it out. Quick feed down low. Here we go, look at this here. Really applying the squeeze down in the offensive end. Power play set to roll on as the setters get ready for the faceoff. Zaka's penalty is almost expired. Quick pass to Wotherspoon. The Bruins with a huge penalty kill there. Frustrating here for the group that went out there, James, on this power play. A critical time of the game, an opportunity. Big time save! Oh, my goodness! Well, throw technique out the window. This time, it's all about the competitive will to get to that puck. And as play continues, listen to these fans. They're starting to get loud and recognizing what we saw not long ago here, Cheryl. Yeah, James, I mean, they're continuing to acknowledge the save he made early because they know the temperature of this game. Hey, the fans are now in it. They're all on board, and guess what? The goaltender knows it. Pasternak's moving the puck through his own zone. Here's a short pass to Shattenkirk. The Bruins take it along the wall. And he comes up big with the stick save, getting all of it with the paddle. The cord's been dialed in right from puck drop, James. I mean, he's made the key saves that he's need to make, and it's all about for a tender managing the momentum swings of the game and the timeliness of the saves have really given his team an opportunity. And we are all over with this one. Seattle's 
Bucks got the victory tonight, but this was one of those games that looked like it was going to go the other way. Well, it certainly did. I mean, the bulk of the game was in their opponent's hands, but they found a way with the limited shots they did get to really have a high shooting percentage when they buried it, and that's what matters at the end of the day. Well, on behalf of Cheryl Pounder, my broadcast partner, my name is James Sabalski. Thank you so much for joining us. A fun night of hockey tonight, and we look forward to bringing you more action soon. See you.